dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery? Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Your concern is misplaced, surely. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Huh? Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her? Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Light, but what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. That is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Ah, Mint! Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Tianyin. Mooncarver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you doing here? I... Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Then you are not angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. We're leaving already? Uh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out! 
It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then should we continue flying the kite? A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. <laughs>